it's been a little while since I've done a video, so uh, I've been quite busy doing uh, <laughs> all sorts of different things really. Just a lot of painting in the studio, it's been um, a bit of a strange time, so um, you know, I've spent a lot of time basically just sort of standing here <laughs> in my studio and uh, painting away. I've been doing a lot of paintings for the Artist Support Pledge um, that's been going on Instagram, which has gone quite well, so um, you know, it's kept me busy, given me something to do. Um, you know, so that's that's been good, but you know, I really need to get back into to making some videos. Um, <clears throat> so I thought I'd try and get out today, and I haven't been out um, since the beginning of the lockdown. I've not been out painting at all, um, and I know that over the last couple of weeks I probably could have done, um, but as soon as the lockdown started to get lifted and people were you know able to go out, um, it just went a bit crazy out in the Peak District. And I live in the Peak District and there's been all this kind of fuss about people coming and, you know, in their thousands. And uh, I just wanted to kind of stay away from it and wait for it to kind of calm down a little bit. Um, and I think it has now. So I think this is probably the right time to give it a go. And I'm not going to go too far away. I'm just going to um, wander up the, uh, the uh, trail uh, from my studio um, <clears throat> and uh, just do a bit of painting down by the river just to get myself back into the habit of it really get back in the habit of doing the painting outside and get back in the habit of making the videos um, so uh, that's what I'm going to do today and I hope that'll be quite good I, th I think the weather's gone off a little bit as well so <laughs> um, you know hopefully it won't be too busy out there and I'll be able to uh, sort of be able to find quite a nice uh, quiet spot um, sit down do some painting and then uh, come back to the studio hopefully have a few uh, works on paper in these acrylics I'm just going to show you in a second what I'm taking with me and um, yeah, have a play around with it, collage it together and see what comes out of it. So, okay, so I just have a, a quick run through of the, the things that I'm taking with me. I'm just gonna um, do some work on paper, keep it nice and simple. Um, so I'm just gonna work mostly in acrylic with some pencils and things like that. So I'm gonna take this uh, just black, black acrylic, I'm gonna take some yellow acrylic. And actually there's a, a video I did um, a little while back we were just talking about my kind of basic acrylic sketching kit it's like a limited palette one so if you have a search for that um it's just like a couple of videos before this one um and it kind of talks about in sort of more detail about what the sort of paints to take with me but um basically just going to take a few of these acrylic paints i've actually got a nice um, this is a nice green it's the windsor and newton um olive green so that's a nice one i'll take that because i like it uh yeah so black lemon yellow Really, I'll probably make the green out of that, but I'll take this nice one with me as well. Um, so I'm going to take some ultramarine, um, just from a blue, and I'll be able to mix that with some white, um, white uh, to get the nice sort of softer kind of blues, sort of pastel blues. I don't think I'm going to take that green. Keep it nice and simple. I'm going to take a, um, there's a word for it, yellow ochre. I'm going to take that one with me. That's a nice kind of uh, more mid sort of uh, warmer color. I like that a lot. Um, don't think I'm even going to take that one. Um, leave that one behind. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of getting there really. And I might take this one. It's um, This is actually a transparent red oxide, which is a really nice, but I always kind of think of it as a sort of posh burnt sienna. So I could take some burnt sienna, but this is just a bit nicer. It's a golden one, transparent red oxide, nice color. It's quite, um, and it is, as the name suggests, quite quite transparent, but it's got a nice sort of glossy uh, sheen to it. It's, uh, it's a nice paint. Um, yeah, and that's kind of it, really. I'll take um, a few pencils. They're just kind of watercolor pencils, um, sort of maybe just a few different colors. I quite like this kind of orangey colors that you can get, and uh, just a black one. Uh, I've got a couple of others here. It's like a kind of pale uh, pale green, which is quite nice. So I'll put some of that in. I'm not sure I might take some of these little woodies. These are called Stabilo woodies. Now people are always asking me about these. They say, what are those stubby pencil things you take with you? Well, they're called Stabilo woodies. So not sponsored by, but there you go. Um, so that's probably about it really. Um, one brush, I think it's enough. I'm gonna take my palette knife for scraping with. Um, and I'll probably take my knife for sharpening pencils, but also good for just making scratchy kind of marks. So, uh, and that's kind of it really. I pop for some water and just gonna take this really simple kit with me. Um, if you see me using anything else later on, I'll try, <laughs> if something I thought about, I'll, uh, I'll try and point it out. But uh, yeah, I don't really think I need to take much more than that with me. 
And I'm just going to work on some paper. It's just be ordinary cartridge paper, but it's fairly heavyweight, like 200 GSM. Um, so it can take the water. So I'm just wandering out uh, down the lane here from the studio, down towards the uh, the trail that's just down here. So somewhere I've been quite a few times, and you might have seen it before on previous videos. But uh, it's just um, yeah, it's a nice handy location. It's really interesting. Yes, it's quite interesting. I'm walking past the uh, car park back there, and it's pretty full actually. <laughs> There's not too many people. I think it's lots of um, uh, cyclists mostly, and they go up and down the trail here. Uh, the trail. Um, so it doesn't, you know, it's not really like busy, busy, but the car park's quite busy. And I think for a Monday morning out of uh, out of school holiday time, yeah, it's still pretty strange out here. So. I don't know, I think it'd be nice anyway. I don't think I'll uh, have too much trouble finding somewhere quiet to sit and paint, so, uh, yeah. yeah so it's, um, yeah, it's incredible how much stuff grows. I think the last time I was here, I think was probably February. Uh, and there was none of this, you know, vegetation that was here. It's. Um, it's just everything's gone crazy, so it's amazing. I think the weather's been perfect for growing. It's all been, you know, it's been quite wet, but it's also been pretty warm. So, um, yeah, it's been fantastic. So, yeah, this should be pretty interesting. The light's really nice. Um, it's quite warm, even though it's not particularly sunny, it's pretty warm. So, uh, yeah, I think it's kind of perfect, really. So I'll set myself up and uh, just do a bit of painting. I'll tell you what, though, it never ceases to amaze me, uh, you know, when people come somewhere really nice like this, you know, obviously to enjoy a picnic or something and uh you know and then take the rubbish home it's beyond me it really is so uh you know what can you do
Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, stand up, stretch my legs a little bit. <laughs> That's the problem, you know, kneeling down when you're painting. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I have these, uh, where are they? They're like uh, gardeners kneeling pads. They're quite handy actually, because they're, they're always in the right place. The problem is if you've got um, like, um, like a mat or something like that to uh, to kneel on. You always have to move it around. But the thing about the gardening pads is they're always on your knees, so it's quite nice. But anyway, I've shown me age there a bit. So I've done, um, yeah, I've done a couple. You know, we'll see how they go. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some more. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't finished. Uh, sun's come out a bit, so it's quite nice. Um, the light's changed a bit, so uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> see what I get out of it.
<laughs> okay, so I've been out for a while now. I've got a few paintings done. So yeah, it was pretty nice. I mean, uh, I don't quite know what I've got. I mean, the light was really nice. There was some nice sort of light coming through the trees onto the river. And uh, I was trying to get hold of that just by kind of putting some bits of paint on. I, I think it's really good to um, to just try and make a mark that sort of sort of stands in for the thing that you're trying to do. I think you know my sort of sketching is uh, just trying to grab the information and uh, try and make a mark that will remind me of of the thing that I've seen. So that you know there's these little bright spots of of light coming through the trees onto the river, and I was trying to you know use some really bright paint to try to um, somehow kind of make a mark that sort of stood in for those sorts of things that were happening over there. So I'm not quite sure how successful it's been, but um, yeah, I got a few done. And um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna probably wander back into town, grab some lunch, and uh, then wander back to the studio. And I'll be tearing these up in, in this afternoon. And out of the, the ones I've done, I've done about five or six, I think. And um, I think maybe get a couple out of those, because I like to tear them up um, if you've seen any of my previous work, you know, I like to tear them up and sort of recompose and play around with them. So, uh, but I don't like to look at them too much until I get back. I, I think it's quite um, uh, important sometimes just to give them a little bit of space. And I always find that I never know um, what I've got until I'm back in the studio and away from the uh, environment. Uh, and then I can start looking at the pieces of work for their own uh, you know, for their own characteristics or things that they've got in them rather than trying to think about, oh, I've got to catch that, or I haven't quite got this right. And, you know, once you're removed from it, you know, uh, find it a little bit easier to, to respond to the work. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to pack up and uh, head back.